The story of the third largest economy in the world doesn't start where you might expect. With a gross domestic product of $6 trillion, larger than that of Japan, Germany, Brazil, or the United Kingdom, the dynamic Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaway system passes along eight U.S. states and two Canadian provinces. This economic engine is powered by Great Lakes Seaway shipping. Over 237,000 jobs are supported by the shipping system, generating $35 billion in economic activity annually. Companies that transport goods through the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaway are making an environmentally responsible decision, as ships produce less carbon emissions than any other mode of transportation. The largest Great Lakes vessels carry more than 70,000 tons of cargo in a single voyage. That's the same cargo volume as 700 rail cars or 2,800 trucks. These efficiencies result in fewer emissions and a cleaner environment. On average, Seaway shipping is more fuel efficient than both rail and trucking. Not only is maritime the greenest way to ship cargo, it is also the safest. Compared to other modes of surface transportation, waterborne transportation is the least disruptive to the general public, has fewer accidents, and fewer workplace injuries. Great Lakes Seaway shipping harnesses the natural and industrial infrastructure of the region, the heart of which is the Great Lakes. Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. These magnificent lakes are connected to the Atlantic Ocean and the world by the St. Lawrence River. In total, the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway system spans 2,300 miles from Duluth, Minnesota on the west to the Atlantic Ocean on the east. From one end to the other, 16 locks lift or lower ships a total of 600 feet, the equivalent of a 60-story building. These include the Sioux Locks, which lie on the St. Mary's River in northern Michigan and connect Lake Superior to Lake Huron. Managed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Sioux Locks safely lift and lower ships as they traverse a 21-foot difference in elevation. The navigation system's other 15 locks make up the St. Lawrence Seaway. Eight Canadian locks connect Lake Erie to Lake Ontario along the Welland Canal. Seven additional locks lie along the St. Lawrence River between Lake Ontario and Montreal, including the Iroquois, Beauharnois, Côte St. Catherine, and St. Lambert Locks in Canada, and the Eisenhower and Snell Locks in the U.S. Together, the locks of the St. Lawrence Seaway allow ships to safely transit between Lake Erie and the Atlantic Ocean, a difference in elevation of 550 feet. The Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway system includes more than 100 U.S. and Canadian ports. These ports serve as multimodal shipping hubs, enabling the transfer of cargo between water, road, and rail. Each year, more than 140 million tons of cargo is moved across the Great Lakes Seaway system. Major commodities include iron ore that is essential to U.S. and Canadian steel making, coal for power generation, salt for de-icing and road safety, project cargo such as wind turbines that generate renewable energy, and agricultural products such as corn, wheat, and soy. All vessels that traverse the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway have been purpose designed and built to efficiently transport cargo across the system. The system is served by three communities of vessel operators. U.S. flagged vessels are owned and operated by American companies. These ships are built in the United States, crewed by U.S. citizen mariners, and comply with U.S. regulatory requirements. Similarly, Canadian flag vessels are owned and operated by Canadian companies. They are crewed by Canadian citizen mariners and follow the rules and regulations of Canada. Ocean-going vessels, also known as salties, are vessels that come into the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway system from all over the world, more than 50 nations. Great Lakes Seaway shipping is a foundation of the American economy, the critical link for industry and ingenuity. Over 237,000 jobs are supported by Great Lakes Seaway shipping, generating $35 billion in economic activity annually, contributing to the Great Lakes regional economy, collectively amounting to the third largest in the world. 
and supporting the quality of life for every citizen. It is America's Anchor.